think it's leaking a little bit. Dang, look how sick this looks. Everyone's giving us weird looks in here. It's not look good at all. I think they're pretty much all dead. This has happened, but they're floating upside down, so I don't know what the deal with them is. You, are they still alive or no? They are not happy about this filming in here, so we're gonna get this deal and get the heck out of here. So I have no idea what happened to them. They're just sleeping. We forgot water in the freaking cooler. We blew it. We're going home right now. We've been sitting in traffic for like two hours now. <laughs> you guys ran a red light on camera. <laughs> gosh, guys, I'm freaking out. This is definitely a first for me. Look at all these ears. I'm gonna get them out. Oh my gosh, look at all that slime. What's going on guys? Today we're heading to the exotic Asian food market in hopes of finding some freshwater eels. We were there two weeks ago and they had all kinds of insane stuff. So we're almost there and uh, we'll uh, let y'all know when we get inside. All right, guys, we just pulled up. I'm going to head inside and see what crazy stuff they have today. We got the cooler in the backpack here. Typically, they don't give you any water with these guys, so they're probably just going to give us a clear plastic bag and just throw the eel in there and be like, all right, go ahead, because these are typically for human consumption and not for aquarium purposes, so they might even be mad at us that we're taking them to put in our aquarium. I have zero idea, but when we walk in there, we're going to see what's going on. I'm going to film all of it for you guys, so let's head in there right now and let's see what's up. So last time we were in here, they had like largemouth bass and stuff too, which they were like really expensive, but... I don't think we're going to be getting one of those today unless they have like a giant one. How's it going? Hello. Dang, it doesn't look like they have it. This is crazy. We need to get a lobster for the pond too. I think it's leaking a little bit, but. All right guys, so we just struck out at place number one. They said they'd have some next week, but obviously we can't wait a week. So we're gonna be hitting another store. Hopefully they have them. I've never been to the store before, so I have no idea, but let's go get back in the car and let's go head there. All right guys, so we're heading to the next place. And of course there's a ton of traffic. We've been sitting in traffic for like two hours now trying to get to the next door. We struck out once, we got two more strikes. Hopefully we'll find them one. This is also like a rescue mission. So if we didn't come get these eels today, they're gonna get slaughtered, eaten, probably boiled in like eel stew or something like that. So we're actually rescuing these eels and they're gonna be full of probably parasites and other nasty stuff. So I wouldn't even recommend eating these eels. Um, we're gonna have to treat these guys and keep them alone for a while before we even add them to the aquarium. So this is gonna be a lot of work in going to this video. So please like this, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> I just ran a red light on camera. <laughs> well, we ran a red light on camera. Don't come after me, please. But we're gonna be trying to get better with every single video we do. So as you watch these, just be patient with me. I'm gonna know I'm gonna sound like an idiot. I'm gonna look back on this and be like, wow, I sound stupid. Hopefully I can get better as time goes on and not sound like a robot. So just enjoy and we're heading to the next place right now. Hopefully we get through this traffic and we'll see y'all there. Guys, we just made it to the other Asian market. Hopefully they got them here. Let's go inside and let's get to see what they got. You, you. This place is where we buy like all of our shrimp, scallops, all the stuff for our rays. So we've been here a lot. Hopefully they still got the yos of those. I want to say last time too, they had like turtles in here. I don't know. They had like a bunch of turtles and like li living turtles. So they have all kinds of large mouth. Dang, look how sick this looks. Fish does not look healthy. I don't know if I'd be eating that, honestly, but we would definitely won't be getting one of those because we can literally catch a large mouth in any pond in the state. Looks like we struck out again, guys. We're gonna try to hit up one more store and see if they got it, but if not, I don't know if we're gonna have to scrap the video. We're gonna have to come back next week. This sucks, but hopefully we'll be able to find them somewhere. All right, guys, we're at the third and final place. This is the last Asian market that I know of in the area, so hopefully I have it, but let's go head on in there and let's see if they got them or not. This one's a little bit smaller, but last time they had like really cool stuff, so they have like a ton of like a frozen stuff here but they have like giant fish like huge carcasses a bunch of squid like everywhere like laid out fresh squid hopefully they have the eels but let's head on in and let's see what they got is, this place is packed we're gonna go ahead and head on the back everyone's giving us weird looks in here so we head on the back where the tanks are on. all right guys so they got the eels here but unfortunately you can see them right here it's not look good at all. I think they're pretty much all dead. Watch, no, they're breathing right now. I don't know if we should get some and see if we can revive them or not, because they're obviously still breathing. This stuff happened, but they're floating upside down, so I don't know what the deal with them is. But you can see, like, they just don't look very good at all. So I have no idea what happened to them. We'll grab one right here. Check that out. That's so cool. Guys, these do look so cool in our aquarium. I don't know. It's still alive or no? See, it looks like it's still alive. But I think we should get some. I think we're just gonna get two and try them and see how we do. Obviously, they're not doing too well right now, but 
Um, I have no idea why they're dead like this. Last time we came in here, they were swimming like, all around everywhere. So maybe it was just the water quality or something, but hopefully we can try to save them and get them. Cause I mean, look, this is like, they do not look good at all. So Do you, are they still alive or no? Alright guys, so the guy just came over here and basically just yelled at us and said two dollars or two dollars if we want to film in here and we gotta buy some. So we're just gonna grab some of these. This one's still alive right here, so we're gonna grab it. But they are not happy about this filming in here, so we're gonna get this deal and get the heck out of here. I would love to get some if you whenever you get a chance, sir. We're yeah. filming a video for like a school project. Sleeping. They're just sleeping. Yeah. Alright guys, so I guess all the eels are just are sleeping, he said. But um, luckily they're cool enough. They said it's okay if we do film in here. So we're going to get some of these. We're going to back them up. But guys, we don't have, I don't think they're going to give us any water with these. So I'm kind of nervous. We forgot to put water, water in the cooler. But hopefully they can make it. We have like a short, it's like a 10 minute drive home. So we're going to get these in the aquarium and see what, uh, see if we can rescue these guys. All right, we didn't get any water with these guys. So hope we got to rush home right now and go get them into the tank. Guys, so we got all the eels. There's no water. We got four of them. I wanted to save as much as I can. It was $92 for these eels. $16 a pound, and we got like roughly five pounds of them. All right, guys, we're gonna start the truck real quick. We're getting home. I'm gonna call my eel guy real quick. Nick Tobler, Cow Turtle on TikTok. He is the eel specialist. We forgot water in the freaking cooler. We blew it. We're going home right now. We're gonna throw these guys right in the tank. But they had no chance at survival before, so I thought we would give. I thought they would be able to give us water. I asked the dude if we can put water in the cooler. He's like, "No, you have to take them like this in the bag." Guys, this is not. This is worst case scenario. But at least we're able to get them out of there and um, out of someone's kitchen pot or whatever you want to call it. So I'm gonna call Nick real quick and um, see what he has to say about what type of eels these might be. I sent him over some pictures, so hopefully he can give me a better guess as to what these eels are and if we're gonna be able to make it home. What's up, dude? How's it going? Not too bad. Hey, man, we're actually filming a YouTube video right now, and I want to kind of your opinion on it if you're up for it. Um, so we're this is actually, we're filming this right now, but um, we actually went to the Asian market today, and you know that picture I sent you last week of all those eels in the tank? Yeah, yeah. So we actually went and we bought like four of them. I guess they didn't give us any water though, man. So we we're kind of freaking out. And I tried to put water in my cooler there, and the guy was like, No, no, no. Like you got to take them home in the bag. And so we have four of these eels in the bag right now, but I don't know, like, how long can they live out of water for and what kind of eels do you think they are? They're going to be American eels, run to the nearest gas station and just buy a big bottle of water. Like, even just as long as the bottom of the cooler's wet, they'll probably make the drive home as long as you got, like, a quarter gallon of water in there. Like, buy, like, three big water bottles and you'll be fine. All right, guys, we just ran to the gas station. All they had was a whole pack of water bottles. So the eels have been in the bag for probably four or five minutes now. I'm going to rip the sucker open and start cranking these water bottles in here. As Nick said, we only need a little bit of water until we get home. Gosh, guys, I'm freaking out. This is definitely a first for me. Look at all these eels. They're still squirming around, around but I'm going to open them up. I'm going to get them out. Oh, my gosh. Look at all that slime. Oh, we need to add some more water to them, but they're definitely still alive, which is good. Get some water on them. But look, those are actually good-sized eels. Just going to keep cranking all these water bottles open. This is a rescue mission. 100% rescue mission. We rescued four of these eels. I wish we could save them all, but they were a little pricey and your boy's kind of broke, so he couldn't afford them all, but at least we were able to save four of these guys so far. Um, I have no idea if, we're gonna, if they're gonna make it, but they seem to be doing a lot better in here. All right, guys, we just made it back. We're gonna check on all the eels real quick. Hopefully they're doing pretty good. They actually look better than they did in the aquarium in the, in the I guess, the market, but. They look actually really lively. They're so slippery though. But we're gonna take these guys to the OG fish room. This is like where everything began. This is where like I kept my first fish. Um, we have a big pond down there still that we left that's been empty for about a year now. So we're gonna take these guys, we're gonna add them in there, get them nice and acclimated, and then see how they do in the big pond. Let's go ahead and get them in there. They're trying to get out of the out of this cooler as you can see, but they are so slimy and weird. Like it's the weirdest texture. My hands are all covered in slime, but let's go get to the old monster fish room and see what these guys do. Guys, this is where all the magic first began. This is where the Monster Fish King brand, LLC, whatever you want to call it, started. In this pond right here, we had our first arapaima in here, our first red tail that all got transferred over to the fish warehouse. And now this is going to be the home for our eels. We have a little bit of PVC piping right here. We're going to throw all this in here, just like so. And the eels are going to kind of hide in that, hopefully. We're going to throw some center blocks in there as well that we have. Uh, but yeah, this should be per perfect for them. This is about 
500 gallons worth of water and they should do well in here. But first we have to acclimate them to the water because their water is hot. They're kind of a cold water eel. This water is nice and cold for them. So they're going to really like it. Let's go ahead and acclimate them real quick. We're going to start adding cups of water into here and then we're going to get them added to the pond. So let's do that real quick. And we're going to show you all some beer all that. Add two tubs of this into the water and that should just mix it and uh, balance out the temps. That way when we add them to the pond, it's not going to shock them and like make them freak out or anything. But as you can see, they're still breathing in here. I mean, look how cool that is. They're so slimy, so they're kind of hold, hard to hang on to, but as you can see. All right, guys, so it's been about an hour, and as you can see, the eels are not doing well at all. We got this one that's turned up over on its side. So we're not. We're just gonna go ahead and add them to the pond. Um, like I said, this is a rescue mission, so we have no idea if these things are gonna do well at all. But we added these two black caves in here, added the cinder block, the PVC pipe, so it should give them a lot of room to hide. They're typically like, you know, darker, colder water, so. We're gonna add these guys in here and um, we're gonna pray for the best, but I really don't know if these guys are gonna make it. They would obviously be dead if they were left there at the store because someone would eat them and cook them on their dinner, dinner table. So I feel like we gave them at least a better chance, um, but hopefully they do make it. But we're gonna go and add them in here real quick, one by one. Yeah, he's, he's still moving. So we're gonna add them in here, but um, hopefully they'll pull through with this fresh, clean water. I'm sure the water at the store is not that good, but yeah, as you can see, he's swimming off, which is a good sign but it's kind of like he's wanting to float back up, which is not, if your fish, if your fish ever floats upside down, that is never a good sign. Um, it could have all kinds of issues. So if your fish floats upside down, I'm sure many of y'all have been there before with your, you know, little tiny pet goldfish is floating upside down. You're freaking out. It's, it's not a good sign. So hopefully the other ones do a little bit better than this one does, but obviously we don't want to lose any of them. Yeah, they're so, oh, this one's got a lot of energy. I'm going to hurry and add it to the thing. It's going to slip out of my hands. Gosh, they're so slimy. But yeah, this one looks to be doing a lot better. I don't know why that one over there is floating, but look at this guy go. Jeez, they're actually pretty cool. There is one right there. Hopefully this one's still alive. Oh yeah, he's alive, he's alive. There he goes. Dang, that's a big one. Oh gosh, this one's slippery. Here's our last one. Gosh. <laughs> like I said, they are very slippery. Check that out. There he goes. Nice and gentle. Yeah, so we're going to keep it pretty dark down here for the first day or so um, and kind of we're going to keep checking on them. But all right, guys, so we got all the eels in the pond now. The three are looking great. The one is not looking so great, but we're going to leave them in here. Um, let them settle down for at least a few days and then we're going to turn the lights on and get, you know, more footage of them. But if you have made it to this point, thank you so much for watching this rescue mission. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a long time as we go in there and buy, you know, shrimp, tilapia, all that stuff like three times a week for, our, for all our fish. So I've seen these guys and always wanted to wanted to rescue some of them. So I wish we could have saved them all, but obviously um, it wasn't like they were given to us for free. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe. Like I said, we're going to be trying to do better each video. So we have some really cool ones planned for you all and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.